Welcome back. It's Melanie, your She Shed Scrapper. So today I am back with a one page layout using several different close to my heart products. Uh, the papers I am going to be using are out of some of the mix in paper packs. The majority of them are from the May June mix in paper packet, um, including I believe this background sheet. So I am going to be scrapping a picture of my um, oldest and my husband four-wheeling and close to my heart has a great stamp set it's called where the road ends so i'm going to be using that as well um actually it is my cousin's i'm borrowing it from her and she has the um thin cut and um or the stamp and the thin cut set the it is an older one and so when I looked last it only has the stamp set available now but it's still a great uh, stamp set so I decided to do kind of a white black and I want to say it's capri color theme with a little bit of lemonade so I did the white with black polka dotted paper as the background and then decided I did want a white kind of main background, but I thought that would kind of um, blend in with the border. So I did do a small black border around the white paper as well. I then used that black and white heart paper um, from the mix-in pack and kind of used that as a diagonal. I forgot that I wanted to use the um, tire tracks from the stamp set, but it worked out anyways doing it after I taped that paper down. I just made sure I had a scrap piece of paper. You can see that I tucked it under there so that, you know, I could do it off the paper. I wanted it to kind of be a border around that black and white heart um, paper there. So you can see that I have that going up and then I also wanted to do it on the other side of it as well. And so again, I'm gonna do the same thing and one thing I noticed while using it, the tire tracks actually kind of have a notch out of it where they line up really nicely. Had I tried to get it a little bit closer, it might have been more of a fluid line, um, but the way I have it is okay with me. So there is the stamp set. I decided that I would cut out because again, she has the thin cuts as well, um, but unfortunately, like I said, that is not available. Um, so I went ahead, I'm going to use the four wheeler and then I'm going to use where the road ends as my title and I'm going to kind of decorate a little card, I guess I'll say, um, with this. I decided ahead of time, I used the square, um, frames here, which I think are going away at the end of the month. So get your hands on them. There's squares and there's rectangles. I cut it out because I wanted to border that um, with that capri color and then just kind of layer on top of it. So once I kind of figured out, you know, I was going to use the four wheeler there. I just had fun with my background elements um, stamp set and used, I want to say it's is it Mermaid Lagoon was pretty close to Capri. Um, so I used that and I just added some splatters around that card as well. Um, just to uh, spruce it up a little bit, I guess. I didn't want it to be too plain and just thought, I don't know, I had fun making kind of my own title card. Um, and so I ended up adding a couple of tire tracks there as well. One little one on the bottom. Um, and so just, I'm having a lot of fun lately using stamps. Um, whether it be on the backgrounds or to make kind of my own title like this, I have definitely enjoyed that a lot lately. So once I get that done, I am going to kind of just start laying down my photos. I did pop that four wheeler up on some foam tape um, and then I'm going to cut my photos down. I want to say to four by four. I thought that would kind of line up nicely. 
on that slanted black paper. So that's kind of going to be um, the base, I guess, for these two photos. Uh, and then I have one other larger photo of my husband and my son that I absolutely love that will go to the left on that white space. And then I do decide I wanted to bring in some more of that Capri color. Um, so I am going to end up double backing the photos on the right with the Capri color to bring just some more of that in over there. And I knew I had quite a bit of white space on the left side of the layout and obviously wanted some more color on the layout. Um, and so I decided to layer a couple of pattern papers behind that. One of them being this Capri paper here and then a little bit of the lemonade paper as well. Again, from that same mix in pack, um, the May June pack there. So I cut them down just enough that it kind of covered underneath of both photos, I guess. And then a little bit kind of on top and the bottom. Just again, just kind of to fill in that space um, and then add some more color. So surprise, I mean, this layout has four pattern papers, but I don't feel like it's overwhelming and I don't feel like it's too busy. So this is where I double back those two photos with the Capri paper, um, just so they stand out from that black background a little bit more. And then I am going to kind of place those and actually overlap that lemonade color just a little bit, um, just kind of the way that it worked out with the width of kind of those layers. Uh, but again, I add, added those photos on an angle as well, just to kind of follow that ang angled black paper. And then I decided to double back the larger photo just with black. I felt like that would help it stand out from the pattern papers a little bit more as well. And that's going to be primarily kind of the base of the layout. And then I only add a few embellishments. I did not want to over embellish, partly because there are four pattern papers here. Um, and I felt like the majority of the layout, it was filled in nicely. So I did pop that up on some foam tape. I'm going to pop the label, or not the label, the title card up on foam tape as well, I believe. And then I am going to get to embellishing. So I forgot that I did cut out a, another little um, piece that I had stamped and then cut out with the thin cuts at the top. And just to add, I wanted some yellow over on the right hand side of the page as well. So I brought in that yellow ink there and I really like the way that looked. And then I brought in my um, white and black acrylic arrows. This is from the older core catalog. So those will only be good through the end of August. However, there are new ones in the new core catalog that will be good throughout the whole next year. The black ones are actually die cut arrows and then the white are going to be acrylic as well, which I love the different options. So I'm gonna use those at the top and then use the black ones down at the bottom. And I realize the top ones are different sizes, but I really liked the way that that kind of looked um, at the top as well. Down here, I'm going to use just these two black ones. I'm gonna make sure that those are lined up evenly across the page. And then I am just using my um, tacky glue. I have actually just used my ATG gun tape as well um, with previous acrylic pieces. So either one works. And then I thought I was just going to finish off the layout with some enamel dots. These are just out of my stash, not the brand new um, close to my heart ones. Just trying to use up my stash a little bit before I purchase those. Um, so I added kind of three clusters of enamel dots and thought that I was going to be done. And I'm not going to lie, I had to run in and use the bathroom real quick because my she shed is not connected to the house, nor do I have a bathroom. So while I was there, I thought about this top little area. I thought it was just a little bit too plain still. So I went and got my background elements stamp set here and added some yellow kind of distressed inks and then the blue um, X's there. But since I added that, I didn't really like the placement of those enamel dots at the top left. And so I am going to end up 
moving those to the um, mixed media. But when I moved the yellow one, I ripped the paper, which I was really bummed about, but then decided I would just take my distressing tool and distress the rest of that blue paper there just to cover up that little flaw. And I really like actually the way that that looks. But that is going to finish up this layout and I hope you guys enjoyed. I will have links for the stamp set and the mix-in papers, um, the background elements as well, the stamp set down below. If you are interested, I would love your support. We will see you next time. Bye guys.